When you sit back and think about how our society has progressed since the past, it's amazing to think about how far we've come with some of our inventions. One of the greatest traits that sets aside humanity from the rest of the animal kingdom is our ability to imagine. To imagine a device or different way of doing something to make our lives easier. Today, we are living in a technological society that is growing at rapid speed. But products and technology weren't always like this. Back in the old days, things were much, much different. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. Number 12. Treadmills One of the first consumer treadmills for the home was made back in 1968. But did you know that the history of this machine dates way further back in time than you might have expected? In fact, treadmills date back to pre-industrial society. Machines powered by man or animals date back almost to ancient Egypt. Some uses of treadmills even include torture for prisoners. Some of these machines were used for grinding grain, threshing, or even lifting water. Now we use them to shed excess weight off of our buns. Number 11. Apple Steve Wozniak, the American inventor and electronics engineer from San Jose, California, was responsible for hand building and designing the world's first Apple computer. Made from a hand carved wooden case, the Apple co-founder credited watching Star Trek in his youth to the inspiration for starting Apple Inc. The first Apple, known as Apple One, built in 1976, helped pave the way for personal computing to evolve into the products we use today. Number 10, cameras. For all of you millennials and youngsters out there, cameras weren't always available at our fingertips through our cell phones and other handy devices. Yep, you heard that right. In the old days and before the age of photographic cameras, camera obscura was the predominant form of art, which dates back as far as 391 BC. Described by a Chinese philosopher named Mosey, the method of exposing light to film or other mediums originated in the early 1800s. And according to the University of Texas, the first ever photograph or the earliest known surviving photo made by a camera was taken by a man named Joseph Nicephor Nice between 1826 and 1827 of an image from a view through his upstairs window. Now, cameras have evolved so much that they are in almost every electronic device we own. Oh, the good old days. Number nine, hair salons. The first hair salons that included heated machines for the use of curling hair originated around 1917. Credited to two entrepreneurial inventors by the name of Eugene Sutter and Isidorio Calvetti. Both men came up with various methods of curling women's hair using heated coils. A machine created in 1923 for Eugene shows a woman who looks like her brain is being plugged into a mind control device. Nowadays, curling can be done with a variety of methods, including the use of chemicals, hair curlers, and hair dryers. History is pretty cool, isn't it? Number eight, the telephone. In the past, talking to someone on the phone wasn't as easy as picking up an iPhone and dialing a number. A lot of minds and contributors went into the invention of the first telephone, which has been the subject of debate for a great many years as to who designed the first machine. Alexander Graham Bell holds the patent for the first telephone. The first telephone exchange was designed by a man named Tivadar Puskas of Hungary, who was quoted by Edison for being the first person to suggest the idea. Nowadays, the device has evolved beyond anything these men could have possibly comprehended. What's next? Bones plugged into our heads? Number seven, vending machines. Believe it or not, one of the earliest forms of vending machines came from ancient Greece, according to engineersgarage.com. The ancient urns were placed in temples and in return of placing a coin inside a special slot, water was dispensed. Nowadays, vending machines are in almost every building where humans gather for work, for medical care, or for school. Number six, sound recording. The invention of the first and earliest known recording device called a phonograph 
is credited to French poet and inventor Charles Cross, who submitted a proposal to the Academy of Sciences in 1877. The first actual practical recording device for sound and reproduction of sound was made by the phonograph cylinder invented by Thomas Edison in 1877. Nowadays, sound is recorded through digital recording and accessible to nearly every person with a cell phone. The invention of the phonograph paved the way for a revolution in the musical industry, as well as an entertainment as we know it. Number five, washing machine. In the old days, washing your clothes took a lot of effort and energy. Before the invention of the washing machine, clothes and garments had to be washed by hand, which was tedious and physically demanding work for women everywhere who were at the time tasked with this menial work. The first washing machine was invented in 1796 by Nathaniel Briggs from New Hampshire. According to an article released by the Vatican and later reported on by NPR, the washing machine can be credited with liberating women in the 20th century, paving the way for feminism and equality. The idea is that the machine allowed women to have more time to themselves and therefore more time to think about how unequal to men they were. Nowadays, modern washers allow anybody to wash their own clothes. Number four, the toaster. Before the invention of the electric toaster, people would toast slices of bread with utensils designed to hold them over a fire. The first electric bread toaster was invented by Alan McMasters from Scotland in 1893. Before the invention of the pop-up toaster in the early 1900s, electric toasters simply made use of heating coils to turn slices of bread into toast. Nowadays, you can even get modern toasters that cook hot dogs. Number three, vacuum cleaners. Also known as sweepers or hoovers, the first vacuum cleaners were invented in the 1860s and it wasn't until 1898 that John S. Thurman from St. Louis, Missouri patented the first pneumatic carpet renovator that traveled from building to building to clean carpets using a combustion engine. The term vacuum cleaner was likely coined by a man named David T. Keeney and Hubert Cecil Booth. The first vacuum with an electric motor was credited to Corrine Dufour of Savannah, Georgia, who patented two different designs featuring an electric motor. Nowadays, virtually every household has a vacuum cleaner to keep our floors dust and debris free. Number two, condoms. Whether or not condoms were used in ancient civilizations remains the subject of debate among historians. Some of the earliest condoms were made from lambskin, animal intestines, animal horns, or even tortoise shells. The use of condoms remained controversial in early history and to this date. They are not looked on favorably in some religions. Nowadays, they are predominantly made of latex. However, other materials are available to people who have an allergy to the material. According to Get the Facts, condoms are 98% effective in preventing STIs and unplanned pregnancy. Now that you've made it to the end, here is how McDonald's first looked like when it was created. Number one, McDonald's. The McDonald family originally from Manchester, New Hampshire, moved to Hollywood and brothers Maurice and Richard began their careers as set movers for the motion pictures. Their father, Patrick, opened the Air Dome, a food stand on Hunting Drive. Later in the 1940s, Maurice and Richard moved the building 40 miles east and renamed the restaurant McDonald's Barbecue. Now, there are close to 40,000 restaurants worldwide, and they serve nearly 68 million customers each and every day. Maurice McDonald passed away at the age of 69 in 1971, and his brother Richard died back in Manchester, New Hampshire in 1998 at the age of 89. McDonald's remains to this day to be the largest fast food chain in the world. Which familiar product from history surprised you the most? Is there anything about the past that you think should be brought back? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to What The Facts. Wait, 
Why don't you fact off with these other awesome videos? Go ahead. Choose the left or the right video and enjoy.